Thanks. Today we're going to show you how to save money on your heating bill. This is Sean Mossman. He's a do-it-yourself expert. He's got some great ideas today on inexpensive projects that you should consider before winter gets here. And in a moment, we'll show you how you can win something free as well. Good That's to right. have you here, Sean. Yeah, thanks for having me. Weather stripping is obviously a, well, one way people can cut down on energy. Absolutely. You know, the average homeowner spends about $1,000 a year heating and cooling their house. If they've got leaks around the doors and windows, that's basically tossing money right out, right? Right, right. So a couple of easy five-minute projects I've got here that I want to show you. The first one, just check around the tops and sides and bottom of the door. If you feel a draft, it's cold outside right now, feel a draft, you're going to want to get a little bit of weather stripping for the door. New product I really love, Cinch. It's self-adhesive weather stripping, so it's super easy. Instead of the drill and pilot holes, all you really need, tape measure and a hacksaw, get the cinch out, go to the outside of the door, Peel the back off of it right there. Goes on really, really easy. That's going to create that seal right there and get rid of that draft on the top and side of the door. Then you get the cinch door bottom. This product will go on the inside, but I'll just show you here. Just kind of snaps right onto the bottom of the door, creates that seal there. Now your money's not going out the That's really the door, right? easy. Yep, and exactly. you can do this on windows as well. Yeah, so a different product on windows. This is just a rubber weather stripping tape. It's self-adhesive as well. Your real problem area is the bottom sill, right? Okay. So one of these 17-foot rolls will do about three or four windows in the house for about 10 or 12 bucks. Just go along the bottom of the sill, cut it up, do another one. You're going to get that seal down there. The other problem with windows, the frame of the window, the caulk deteriorates after a period of time. Caulking is important. Absolutely. Just yep. get a little squeeze tube of caulk. You don't need all the tools. You don't need the, the little ratchet thing. Just go around the outside here. Go right in there. Uh, one of these tubes will do a couple of windows for about 3 or $4, and it's paintable within 30 minutes if you want to match your paint. So. Insulation is also a way. Yeah, so really deep savings with fiberglass insulation in the attic, but if you want to spend about 3 bucks and a couple of minutes on a project, you've seen these little outlet sealers, really cold behind that uh, switch plate and, and those sealer plates. You can just put those behind them, put them back on. This is just a five-minute project for a couple of bucks. It's going to save everybody a ton of money, maybe about $200 a year. So if we do the weather stripping, we do the caulking, we do the insulation, right. maybe we do this as well, mm -hmm. how much are we likely to save during the winter months? Well, you can save uh, about $200 annually just by air sealing, another $200 annually in the summer and the winter if you do the insulation as well. Insulation's a little bit more involved project. The weather stripping really is just a do-it-yourself, five-minute a project, $5 a project, $10 a project kind of thing. So you're going to save a ton of money just by doing some simple things. Sean's got a, a free weatherization uh, clinic that's going to be taking place on Saturday from 12 to 4. It takes place at the North Meridian Hardware Store. It goes from 2 to 4. You can get a free copy of his book. We've got all the information on WTHR.com. And Sean's been kind enough to give us away a couple of free things to give away on the Scott Swan Facebook page. You bet. Got cinch for every, cinch for two viewers uh, enough to do the full door bottom and tops and sides like I showed you $30 value two you best posts win it Sean good to see you here Thank and again you. we've got more advice for you on WTHR.com well November is diabetes awareness month